there are a few ways to immigrate to Italy quite quickly. And I would like to highlight you why those are my favorite practices. So number one, my favorite visa is the elective residence visa for one simple reason. It's quite fast, it takes two months, and you do not need to collect any document in Italy. The only requirement is that you have 31,000 euros of passive income sources, such as pension income, rental income, dividend income, capital gains or other interest income overseas, so you can self-sustain your life in Italy. It is also possible to reduce the requirement if you decide to purchase a real estate property in Italy. My second favorite is the freelance visa. So if you operate as a freelance and especially digital nomads all over the world, you can apply to get a freelance visa in Italy. Basically, you have to prove that your activity has now to be carried in Italy. So you need to be a freelance first before to apply for a freelance visa. You cannot start up your freelance business in Italy. And this visa applies also to journalists, to sportsmen, to actors and other figures of the entertainment industry. Then another great strategy is the business visa. So business visa, uh, there's a common misconception that in order to secure a visa in Italy, you need to buy a company. This is totally wrong. You need to be managing a company which is active for at least three years. This means that regardless of the fact that you're a shareholder, you can only secure a visa if you manage the company. So first of all, you need to be appointed on the company, then you have to request your business visa, and then you can move to Italy. The only caveat is that you need to earn at least 9,000 euros or more per year, which by the way is a requirement to renew any type of visa. But another solution I prefer instead of targeting a company in Italy is to set up a local branch of a foreign business. This especially works with Americans, people from the UK or Australia, because it's quite normal to have your own LTD or LLC. So in that case, all you have to do is to use your own company, create a company in Italy, a representative office, which by the way, has no adverse tax consequences on the business itself, and then it works as well as targeting an Italian company. There are a few extra costs of setting up the local representative office, but this is a guarantee move to Italy. My fourth favorite strategy is the investor visa. So there are a few ways to acquire the investor visa. The first one is to put two millions in government bonds or one million to philanthropic activities, half a million in the paid up capital of a private LTD or 250,000 into the paid up capital of an innovative startup. So, there's a common misconception that you need to put the money personally. Actually, you can also do that via a business you are the legal representative of. So basically, there are two ways to do that. So the first option, you invest personally into a company, you invest personally into Italian government bonds, or you can use a company that has cash to invest in such assets. And the beauty of this visa is that you are not required to make the investment before getting an approval. There is a pre-approval and the final visa acceptance. So you basically have to say, I'm going to invest that money. And then if you're approved in order to secure the visa, you need to actually invest that. Um, the other thing you must be aware of is that it's not a company. This can be your company. So you can set up a company in Italy, put the money in, so you're safe and sound. You don't have somebody else's running your money and you can secure the visa. And by the way, if you also do that into an innovative startup, you get a 50% tax credit on such investment. And finally, another visa I really like is a startup visa. So if you are in the tech industry, you have a good idea, you are smart, you're brilliant, you can pitch your idea to a committee and upon approval, you, need, you can move to Italy and you get rewarded with your visa. The only requirement you are required to abide is the sufficient funds of 50,000 euros. So you need to secure 50,000 euros. You don't have to put cash on that. Bank guarantee works really fine, but you need to have that. And by the way, in order to maintain the visa, you do not need to hire people, you do not need to make certain business um, or revenue.
revenues nor profits. You just need to have your startup. And so those are basically my favorite strategies to immigrate to Italy because they are proven, they are good, it normally takes less than three months and you're guaranteed to move to Italy easily. By the way, you can change visa once you come to Italy unless you come on an elective residence visa.